السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. We have a beautiful hadith that is reported on the authority of Ubaida ibn al-Samit رضي الله عنه, in which he reports that the Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم has said لا ضرر ولا درارة that there should be no harming and no reciprocation of harm. لا ضرر ولا درارة there should be absolutely no harming and no reciprocating harm. My dear brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created us and has placed us on the world to act and to carry ourselves in an honorable manner and fashion. Certainly, Allah expects good from us and we should strive each and every day to be good to our neighbors and good to our relatives and be good stewards on the planet, making sure that we are absolutely holding on to our position as guardians and not trying to pollute and destroy this world but to live in a harmonious way until certainty reaches us and that certainty is death which will reach each and every one of us. As we live our lives and as we grow we will interact with different people people who believe what we believe and people who don't believe what we believe. We will interact with people who may irritate us or cause us to become angry, who may try to provoke us and try to get a reaction out of us. Regardless of how we are treated by those who are around us in their evil ways and evil speech, the Prophet ﷺ has prohibited for us to harm people intentionally. We should never take a position in which we are harming the people who are around us, whether they are Muslim or whether they are not Muslim. The Prophet ﷺ has said, لا ضرر ولا درار, that there is no harming and there is absolutely no reciprocation of harm. Now comes the question, what if someone does an evil to you? Does it open the door of justification for you to in turn do an evil back to them? As we know and as we say, two wrongs don't make a right. It is better for you not to harm anyone who has harmed you. Rather, it is best if you safeguard yourself in a manner in which you protect yourselves from being harmed again by that same individual. There is never a justification for us to harm the people who are around us. Indeed, the Prophet ﷺ had the most excellent of character and behavior and traits. Look at his uncle, Abu Lahab. The wife of Abu Lahab, each and every morning, would put thorny branches in front of the home of the Prophet ﷺ. So when he would leave his home, he would step on it and injure his feet. Even when the Prophet moved to Medina, he had there a Jewish neighbor who would put garbage in front of his door every single morning that he would leave his home. How did he respond to his aunt? How did he respond to this Jewish neighbor? They harmed him. Did he reciprocate and harm them back? Society would tell us that we should kick the door in and that we should deal with them, that we should yell and scream. Rather, the Prophet ﷺ simply understood what was happening and moved the branches from in front of his home and he moved the garbage from in front of his home. It is stated that one day he found no garbage in front of his home and he went to visit his Jewish neighbor and found that he was sick. When the neighbor realized the prophet was there and the prophet asked, I found no garbage in front of my home this morning so I am checking on you, this Jewish neighbor immediately recognized the attributes of prophethood and said, Ashadu an la ilaha illallah their brothers and sisters, there is no harming and no reciprocating of harm. We ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to embody such noble characteristics and that He send His finest peace and blessings on the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahumma salli wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Thank you.